most of us in Canada are fortunate enough to never experience any hunger in our lives. But for the people living on the streets of Victoria, it's a different story. I'm at Fishhook and Mermaid's Wharf to learn about an exciting event that can help alleviate some of this hunger for Victoria's homeless people. So Hungry Hearts is uh, the biggest fundraiser that we do for the year for, for our place. And it's a really special event because we get uh, all these fantastic chefs coming in and cooking up wild creations. Today I'm going to be highlighting our seafood hot pots that kind of highlights all of the different kinds of seafood and different kind of products that we like to use. Garlic and ginger, some scallions. It's a good foundation for any dish that we make here. Oh yeah, all that flavor. I've been personally involved since the very first Hungry Hearts fundraiser. Um, it was quite successful. We managed to allow our place to feed people even on Saturdays and Sundays. So at our place, we serve about anywhere from 1,600 to 1,800 meals a day. Uh, and they're not quite as gourmet as what will happen at Hungry Hearts, but this is a way to show you know, how important food is and how food creates fellowship. So really it's a night of fellowship and fun and, and good food. Oh my. We'll add our mussels, fresh DC mussels from Salt Spring Island. Nice. Put a little bit of homemade vindaloo sauce to get everything going. And then we'll cover this guy and let those beautiful things cook for a couple minutes. We designed it as a sort of chef competition. Uh, so it's generally like five, sometimes six chefs, and it's kind of morphed over the years. It started as like a soup and sandwich contest, and now we're kind of letting the chefs sort of run with whatever sort of small plate they'd like to. And people that buy tickets and come, they get to try all the different food, and then the silent auction, uh, I auction off a dinner for 10 every year. But I think we're thinking about doing something even bigger this year with my new location down here. It'll be delicious. Some prawns and a few scallops. Wow. The competition for Hungry Hearts, I can't tell you exactly what we're going to be making. Um, it's still in the works, but I will be able to let you know that we will be highlighting spot prawns this year. We have a very low overhead on everything we do. Everything that comes into our place goes back to the family members that we see. And we see between six to 800 people every single day. People who are struggling with poverty, with addiction, with mental health, with um, combinations of all three of those, you know? And so without our place, our city would be a much lesser place to be. It's just a nice way to give back. Um, and I took a tour years ago, I guess, five years ago of the facility and I was just blown away at all the different things they do and all the people that are there helping out. So I just felt the need to get involved and do whatever I can. Our demographics are changing dramatically. We're starting to see a lot more seniors coming in who their income is just covering the rent but not leaving them enough for food. We're starting to see a lot of working poor coming in. We see a lot of guys coming in in busy vests in the morning, getting their breakfast. We also do a bag lunch program. They'll take a bag lunch and they'll head off to work and then we'll see them again at supper time. And we're seeing a lot of people with um, physical disabilities and mental health disabilities and those are people who are really being sort of cast aside by the way the health system works and they have found a family situation at our place that takes care of them. They have a bunch of other amazing uh, services that they offer to people um, of all walks of life and it's just a really great way to sort of give back to Victoria. They do a wonderful job helping the less fortunate. And we do belonging extremely well. You know, and that's a big part of what we do, that's why we call everybody family, because it's all about coming together, making people feel welcome. But we've always kind of felt that part of that hope is missing, there wasn't enough hope. And so by opening up a therapeutic recovery community, that's where we want to bring in the hope. I wish we had smell-o-vision. <laughs> Hungry Hearts is always a fun event, the food is always fabulous. You have to go around to all the five or six stations that we have and, and try everything out, and, and then you get to have a fun boat. The chefs all take it seriously because it's a competition. Chefs are very competitive by nature, so my head chef here at Mermaid Wharf, Tyler Paquette, is going to be representing this new restaurant. Uh, and yeah, he wants to win, and I think all the chefs do. 
Our place offers hope to those living in poverty. If you're interested in attending the event or donating, please check out the website. For Community Producers, I'm Heather Pace. And now it's time for a bite of this amazing dish. Mmm.